Hey everyone, welcome to what's your name again? Random Random Access. Access. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are we live? Bonnie? Yes, we're, we're live. live. We're live again. Bye. Hi. Hopefully, we won't disconnect this time. Yes, yes. Hi. We are here at the Hollywood Life offices, and I am with Farrah. the one and only Farah Abraham Thank from you. Teen Mom OG. Thanks so much for coming by. I love Bonnie. Oh, we love you. Look, Saifu Bonnie. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for sharing. Yeah, you've got a pretty sexy top on. I'm, I'm jealous. I'm Hi, like done up to style. here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no snow oh. in New York. It's still sunny. That's a right. Hot. Hey. I know. We we got this weather just for you. We got it warmed up so that you could walk around New York and Bonnie, be able what's to wear your great on top. In your office? I don't know if anyone else can see, but in Bonnie's office, she has she's like a luxury with her bracelets. Oh. Your shoes. <laughs> Your handbags. I'm like, Bonnie, wow. I know. Well, this is my closet because <laughs> I get up so early in the morning and I can't wake anyone else up in the house, so I have to get dressed in the dark. So I just keep all my accessories here. It's so much easy. Get the dress on at the door. But listen, let's talk about you. We, yeah. we need to ask you the burning question. Are you coming back to Teen Mom OG? Because the season, it, it ended with a pretty intense scene, and you said you were done. Like, maybe Larry should be fired. Larry Musnick, if you're watching right now. Oh, <laughs> so the bad blood continues. You guys haven't made up. Well, I would check out my new podcast, Pharaoh's Friends. We have had Larry Musnick, Heather Walsh. Oh, Larry's been on your podcast? Yes, we have had him on, so you can hear all the callers who called in and get the real details there. Um, and right now, you know, I just wish the other ladies, there's a new season of Teen Mom with Chelsea, um, Leah, Janelle, some of the other ladies coming on March 21st, this coming Monday. So be sure to check out their season and maybe I'll, I'll stop in. Oh, good. Boy, you're good. You're really good at promoting. <laughs> but that's so that's, fine. Thanks. So, here, hey, we want to know, like, what happened between you and Larry because you were screaming at him. You didn't want to come back on the show. Like, what yes. was there a lot of bad blood before that happened? And then how did you make up if he came on to your podcast? So he was stirring up some bad blood behind the scenes and not letting me be a part of something that I should be allowed to do. And like you guys heard me say, don't infringe upon my income and those things. And as a single parent, I take it very serious. You know, I'm a serious mom when it comes to business and really creating a good life for Sophia. And we had a huge disagreement in the back end. And hopefully now everything and the executives can work that out. Otherwise, Larry, Larry Musnick's going to have to go. Wow. But I mean, <laughs> you obviously are on speaking terms. Yes. And hey guys, you guys can send, you can ask us questions. You can yes. send in your questions too. Hi. Arlen, yeah. good Hi, to Arlen. see you. Yeah, I, don't I like know the, the comment thing is working. Sometimes, yeah. since I don't know how this works, guys, it's really cool to get your feedback. And I am doing this for the very first time. That's so right. Facebook Live, Bonnie's teaching That's me. That's right, she's, she's a Facebook me Live version. Yeah, she's teaching me the ropes. <laughs> But, I wonder um, if this stays up for everyone to see. So oh, it does. It oh, stays it does? up. Yeah, it's going to oh. stay up for you know for eternity. Okay. Well, you so want to see who else be is able in to our tune office? In. Heather Walsh, come over here. Heather Walsh is in the building. <laughs> My favorite. Hi. 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 Hi, Heather. So you guys never had any fights? Uh, no, not too much. Well, we have girlfriend fights. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So nothing too intense. <laughs> no, we're very close. Well, we're really glad to hear though that you will be back and oh, that really? you are not only you'll be back but that it'll you know, be better than ever yes <laughs> this will be better than ever but you know and let's let's talk about Kim Kardashian because okay. you had a few things to say about her recently you feel like in a lot of ways you've been even more successful or at least in one way you've been more successful I How? mean there's uh, there's many successes I've had whether it's you know uh, videos or books or TV shows um, <laughs> Um, so there's many ways that I've been successful, and I feel that it's a blessing from God that I've had such good sales, such good business endeavors, and I just wish the best for everyone. Um, I think the whole competition and those things probably needs to end on her bit. I don't Do you, really... you feel like she was competitive with you? Well, with her sisters, her family, right. and those things. Yeah, because Chloe really, said something, right? It really needs to stop. Um, and I, you know, don't know how I got sensationalized on Nick Ritchie's podcast where this all started. Um, and I think it's all good and great fun. But I have to say, on a serious note, I do hope that everyone, family, and everyone as a whole and their family gets on the same page of knowing that 
the bullying, belittling, and taking sides, that immature high school behavior, I don't really think it's going to make anyone successful or happy. So I just know I'm in a good place. I take care of myself, and I'm doing well, and I hope that they are too. Do you feel like their that their behavior was like it was consistent, like was happening more than than a couple of times? It's been consistent over the years. A lot of negative things, you know, Scott Disick and you know the whole sh shit and caboodle there. Um, so I just am moving forward, and I'm happy I got to talk about that topic. Okay, so yeah. we won't see anything more from you about them, like tweeting or anything, unless I guess they come out and say something. Or do anything. Well, I think they've learned not to since okay. you know they saw Nicki Minaj and I. So, <laughs> and Nicki Minaj, she's not immune to some Twitter wars. And I mean, gosh. we kicked off 2016 real hot. You certainly <laughs> did. Now, you talked. You surprised, I think, everybody when you you brought up a very sensitive topic mm -hmm. and revealed that you had been abused as a, as a child. And I don't. And that I think. It took uh, a lot of emotional courage to talk yeah. about. Tell us about more about what happened when you were young. Um, you know, I've talked off and on about my mother and our relationship, um, and it's gotten better. And I just feel like, you know, how you raise your children, whether you think violence is not okay or, you know, being a little hands-on, that's a form of kind of abuse. And I know that it's a very sensitive topic, how you raise your kids. Um, so there's just some abusive behavior around me growing up, and I, I, I obviously am in a much better place with my mother now. We've all changed a lot, um, especially since, you know, losing Derek's father and so many other things, and you know, moving out of the house and just living my own life and parenting my own way. But I do not, you know, I'm trying to move past that, and I, I don't really think my mom would appreciate it if I were to be talking about that right now. So I... I just caution myself, and I'm very aware and mindful of my parenting, as I would never want to be an abusive parent. Right, either emotionally yeah. abusive or physically Physi abusive. Yes, exactly. And, and your, it sounds like though your relationship with your mom is good now. What about with your dad? My father and I have a very good relationship. He's actually watching Sophia for me right now in Austin, Texas. Oh, really? Yes. Um, so while mommy's traveling and hanging out, um, we have a good relationship, and I just hope, you know, my dad continually works on that. And when he's really working on it, and he's changed so much like my mother has over the years, we really do very well. So it's always a continuing struggle. And obviously, <laughs> you feel like he's a good granddad. You're leaving Sophia with him. Yes. And I, he learned from his raising you and what... Yes, and he definitely tries to listen and bond with me to make our relationship better. And that's all I'm trying to make aware so that I feel comfortable leaving him with Sophia and you know hopefully they do what I hope and what I wish they would do so that Sophie's taken care of and having fun and making the most out of her time um I'm just a word this of this so cool. yeah look the comments are over here um pardon you want to know if you're getting your own show oh oh yes. yeah you're beautiful thanks you know it's so funny we have to look at the computer to see i know your we're, we're having like, a little malfunction on, we were on lost. facebook live um and so uh, uh thank you for saying i'm a great mom ah uh, yeah. yeah good parents out there Ivy, Julie, are you friends. and Macy friends now? We've got some questions. Are you and Macy friends now? Um, I let Macy live her own life. I, I'm not in her life. Um, I don't really feel like she's been so honest with me, and I'm not aware of what goes on in her life. So I don't really count that as a friend. But right. yeah. Okay, so still. Oh, here, Felicity would like a shout out. Felicity. Felicity, shout out. <laughs> oh my God. Where are you, Felicity? Shout out to where? And Chrissy says hi. Uh oh, hey, hey. Hey. And the, oh, oh, Beer says he loves you. Aww, much love, <laughs> love you hard. Okay, let's talk about a show just for you. So a show just for me. Yes. There's been a lot of talks about shows just for me. Um, I don't know whether it's gonna be. I'm gonna have my own Bachelorette. <laughs> uh, re oh, really? You a, a version of The Bachelorette? Now, I would this be so. with MTV? Maybe I could make MTV do a Bachelorette, take it up a notch. None of those crazy <laughs> dating shows. I gotta have something more real. I need a real man. Yes, well, no, well those wait, are wait, wait, those what's going on with Simon, though? <laughs> Simon, so, are you on one of your outs now? Yes, we are on the outs. Um, you know, I try to remain friends with him, and I don't really think it was going to be working out. 
Well, but we've heard this like before because you guys have been together, then split and gotten back together. I know it's an annoying cycle, Bonnie. I'm trying to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning not to repeat. So, yes. and, and if you were to do your own bachelorette show, how would you make it different? For one, it would be way more glam. Um, the guys would have to be like millionaires to get in the door. Ah. And they would have to go through challenges. A bank like a challenge Bonnie. requirement. I have to have a Bonnie challenge. Bonnie has to challenge them. But I would have to make them do like, you know those grocery stores when they're like splurging and they only have a, a right. couple minutes? Yes. They have to grab all the grocery store lists and if whoever doesn't, then they're out. Also, they'd have to do like birthday parties, like a birthday party gift for Sophia and whoever has the best gift and they would win a date with me. Like fun, good dating. Let's get it. <laughs> but they have to have a big bank account. Why is that important? Well, if you don't make three times as much as me, how do I have respect for that? I mean, I can't really? just keep bringing home the bacon. Well, no, Damn, I Bonnie. No, but I understand working my that. Ass off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, well, we, we know that. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yes. But, I mean, but sometimes you can find, like, true love that doesn't, I mean, guy could have a good job, but you know not necessarily I've definitely found more true love in my life. So shout out to everyone who's found true love in your lives. Um, and that was... Uh, Sophia's dad, Derek. So it's pretty amazing. Ah, uh, thanks for all the good yeah, things. Of course, another nice beautiful, to appreciate. beautiful. We're doing live, so hopefully the lights are right. Right. Okay. Somebody wants to know how does Sophia like LA? How's she liking the move? Sophia loves LA. We are. We. I love to work in Beverly Hills. That's where my podcast is based out of, mm -hmm. Fair and Friends. So it's been great. And I'm not a gold digger. And by the way, if you're digging for gold, you're digging for something good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I guess you could be concerned that the guy might be a gold digger because yeah. you are a self-made woman. Yes. And you've made enough. You bought a $2 million house. Well, and other I mean, real estate. You know, I do very well. And I really and you're young. Know, I mean, yeah. you're only 24, right? And this is what I say, yeah. everyone. I don't ask anything of anyone else that I can't do myself. So I pretty much know what is good a gold digger and what it's not good so if I'm not wanting to dig for something greater then that's sad <laughs> there guys so that's a much different view on gold digging but also women who are self-made got to be careful about men going after the wrong things too and you know what like Amber Portwood right now we're questioning who is the guy who she's dating is you you know I guess a lot of people were saying that this Matt Bauer who she's dating was using her and there's lots of many ways that women in the public eye can be used or taken advantage of and that's Absolutely. something serious. Yes. So no team mom stalkers. <laughs> now do you have any inside info on Caitlin and how she's doing? It was just she yeah. just went into rehab. And she's I think suffering from postpartum, which is a very serious thing. I think she was just saying it was more mental illness, depression, and anxiety, right. which everyone who works with her knows that she's definitely um, been struggling. So I'm very happy and I'm proud of her for taking the right steps to get healthy, get back in balance and on track and, you know, let her enjoy her new baby. Right. I, well, I think that's why she's gone. So I think she's taken a really smart step yes. to go into... Um, treatment because postpartum is a very serious issue and it is a mental issue and it can it's usually caused by a chemical imbalance so yeah. it uh, you know it, it's it's very it's just tremendous that she's taken the step but yeah. it can take a while to recover from okay Sarah Harth wants to know who is your celebrity crush my celebrity crush I did kind of have a crush on the rapper Gemini but he is taken Bummer. Bummer. Okay. And uh, Omar says she's, he's really glad that your parents are nicer to you. And, oh, you've got uh, you've got a lot of fans. They love your hair and makeup. Uh, I, I can see I need to get some lessons from you, uh, too. I'm kind of bumming out today, but thanks. And Tara wants to know, how is your restaurant in Austin doing? Oh, my gosh. I hope to be showing that. Soon on television, um, we have been really, really trying to make that happen. And I'm doing so many other stores. It's been wild in Texas right now. So if I don't, I need a vacation, everyone. But we'll get back to that soon. <laughs> You're getting some marriage proposals here. Oh, my yes. gosh. Ma there's yes. marriage in my future. That's right. Joseph. <laughs> no, I think you're getting some men here that you definitely want, they want you 
They want to be in your future. Ah, uh, <laughs> so much love. I don't know if that's a good thing that we met online, though. Is it catfish? Right, that's true. Okay, <laughs> now, um, just before we sign off, what else do we need to know? Do you have, you've got your I, podcast, yes, so everybody out, needs to tune in. Yes, check when out we, right how now. How do we find your podcast? On your app, look, this is my phone. Don't look at my text or my pictures. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look, so you get on your screen. Where is that? <laughs> the podcast button right there, the purple one. I'm going to hit it. And then here we are. There's Fair and Friends. Click, leave a review. I so appreciate yeah. Right. And Fair you go on and iTunes and you, iTunes. You, you type in Fair Simple. and Friends. Yes. And there we are. I can't wait for next week. Leave some comments. Let me know who you want every week. I'll even have Nicki Minaj or other people who you think I just like. <laughs> and I can't wait to be on Bonnie's podcast. Yes. The Hollywood Life podcast. Yes. We do. The we'll Hollywood Life. Yes. Okay, bye. bye. I'm going to finish it.